What's up everybody, Ride With Woe here, and this is a continuation of part one of when I took my CB500X off-roading. So this is gonna be uh, part two. Also, I have been getting a lot of new subscribers lately, so a huge thank you for that. And for watching my content, of course. But I have a huge favor to ask you guys. Just hit that bell button to help me out a bit and see when I post new videos to keep updated on the locations I ride. So that's where like all the burn area was down in that tree over here. Uh, those washes suck. <laughs> I feel them a lot. So this video is a little old. It was that day when the trails were, you know, really muddy and clay-like, if that makes sense. And to make matters worse, my front tires <laughs> were pretty worn that day. But no worries, I will be ordering the TKC 80s pretty soon. Suspension update will be will be nice. It is so beautiful. Look at this, man. I love this thing. This is what I love about the CV500X. You just hit on the road and go straight and you're all good. Alright guys, so just a reminder, this was coming off that muddy trail for my first part of this ride. This day I decided to try uh, a ride called Rainbow Falls, which is an area I ride dirt bikes in, and it's considered a huge OHB area with miles and miles of trails. And for the most part, these trails are not beginner friendly, so I'm going to be taking my CB500X on this. Alright guys, Whew. hopefully it's not too muddy out here. I'm hoping this doesn't have too much mud, but I guess we'll check it out. Uh, I think I go this way, right? I'm not sure. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Heck yeah, that's the way to do it. Woo! Can I ever go up there? Uh, maybe I should turn around here. <laughs> Rangers. <laughs> Hello. Howdy. Hi. Can I go down this way? I honestly couldn't tell you. Are you, are you trying to, uh, I think this, it dead ends. So oh no, I meant like if it's legal for me to go down that road. I don't, I think it stops. I don't know. Oh, it's fine. If it's a dead end, it's no big no. deal. I just don't want to get in trouble. Neither of us work here, so we couldn't really tell you. There's uh, a road down there that goes south that you can take that's open. Okay. I think this just does a loop. Oh, it does a loop yeah, into Rainbow Falls? So, if you, because I was down this road earlier, if you go back here and take a left, there's one that goes down there. You can drive on that one. Okay. That good, yeah. Cool. Good, yeah, just, this just loops right here. We're doing scenarios. Okay, so I'll go. I'll back up that way and go that way. Sweet. Thank you. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. No, appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Yeah, I kind of did that on purpose because I know I can, I can go in there, but I wasn't. I saw I saw them over there, so I didn't want to, you know, kind of um, put myself in a situation like, oh, we're doing training here, or leave or something. <laughs> no, he needs to fight. I was like, oh, you probably don't want to mess with that guy. <laughs> like, nah, I'm good, man. I'm good. What's that? I've never seen that before. Place. What's this over here? Oh, it says close, close gate. It doesn't say, no, I don't know. There's a knockdown sign. So I guess I won't go that way. I still am trying to get the feelings for, for this bike and tire. So, you know, on my DRZ, obviously, I'll hit this thing like nothing. <laughs> Man, I'll feel, I'll feel so much more confident having new tires. It's mostly the mud. Wow, look at this. This is pretty. So, I decided to take this OHV trail, and for the most part, the CB500X handles it just well. Hard to tell, but this was a straight climb in elevation, and the rocks were pretty moderate size. I mean, not huge, of course, but not really tiny, gravel-like, but on, you know, 
these type of rocks you usually see on the average the dirt bike trails. Well, this is considered an OHV trail. I think that, well, it says this is a dead end, but I don't know. Okay, now it's getting gnarly. Don't know where this goes, but it's definitely getting gnarly. Yeah, man, so guys, this is what I love about the CB500X, you know, I can go on trails like this, go exploring. Okay, now it's getting muddy. Ugh, I'm getting a little more confident with the mud on this, with this bike and tires, but. Also, keep in mind, guys, everything on the CB500X is completely stocked. The mud was, like, clay that day, and my tires are, you know, low on tread. Yeah, and... It is the OEM tire, so we all know how much that sucks. But, um, so could I have gone faster? Of that's, course, that's but did not want to push decent. my limits, especially with death right yeah. on the I edge mean, there. Not. 